You're out there, you're a developer, and you want to get paid. Let's talk about how you can find a job. Hey guys, Phil here with another video that is not, again, particularly a Ruby on Rails video. Those of you who are interested only in programming trips, tips can uh, now leave the building. What I want to talk about is something I've been getting a lot of messages about, uh, private messages and comments on the YouTube videos and so on, and that is, Phil, how can I find a job? You know, you're a Ruby on Rails developer, you're getting paid, uh, how are you uh, making money, how do I find a job like you've got? Well, first of all, the thing is, I run my own business. Uh, that's a big chunk of the money that I make. And yes, I do do contract and work and consulting with other people. So I want to talk about more about the second part, uh, not about the first part about running your own business. We'll talk about that in another video. To get hired as a developer, there's two ways you have to think. First of all, uh, you can go out to job boards and so on like that, and you can look for a job. You can go to uh, Upwork or whatever it is that people use these days to try and find consulting work or contract work. You are up against a lot of people there. You're up against um, developers of all ranges, all ages, and all locations, and all incomes. And it's a race to the bottom on there. It is a My issue with sites like Upwork is that they turn writing software into a kind of commodity. And that's great if you want to work in a big company, though you know Upwork is not really for big companies, but if you want to uh, be a cog in the system and be paid as such, as a uh, you know replaceable employee, then uh, fine. Look on places like that, do the test, apply for the job, and take your chances. Again, that's not really what I'm talking about here because I think a lot of people, that's not what they want. They want some kind of job that they feel they can contribute to, that uh, is fulfilling, is creative, is challenging, is, you know, uh, has chance for opportunity, uh, opportunity for advancement and things like that. That's the kind of job you want, right? That's the kind of job I want. So let's talk about how you do that. And I'm going to boil this down to two basic tips. Yes, just two tips. I'm not going to do 10 tips to a better job or whatever. I'm going to do two because I don't have a lot of time. The first one is have a presence. And by that, I mean have a blog, a YouTube channel, a podcast, uh, whatever it is you call it on Medium where you write a bunch of articles and people follow you, a mediumship. Um, have something that shows your personality, that shows your eagerness to learn, what it is you're learning, how you approach these things that you're learning. What makes you, you, as far as being a developer? There's so many ways to get that out there. I do it through YouTube. You know, I think I talk too much, <laughs> expose my personality maybe too much on uh, YouTube, but that's my way of getting things out. And to be honest, it's worked for me as far as finding work and getting consulting and getting people interested in what it is that I do. Not everybody can do this. I understand that. So you, but you're going to have to, it's a prerequisite in the 21st century that you have some kind of online presence and people will look for your online presence and rightly or wrongly judge you by it. So get out there, create, you know, it, it serves two purposes actually, uh, or many purposes. One is of course it shows your personality like I just said and shows your attitude towards working. It helps people coming up behind you, you know, it's a kind of training for people who are just a couple of steps behind you. You may be a beginner, but believe it or not, there's people who are even more of a beginner than you. It helps them. And uh, the other thing is you learn an awful lot. I've learned a lot, you know, I do all these uh, Rails tutorial or whatever you call them things. Man, I've learned a lot about Ruby on Rails from doing those and how to present Ruby on Rails. So it, you learn a lot. So it's a win-win-win for uh, having an online presence in that way. And the other thing is have a portfolio and do not have a resume. A portfolio is a, a set of projects that you've done. And the importance of having a portfolio is 
it shows somebody that you actually can do something and you learn a lot by actually creating projects. You put them up there in the public space. You know, so these can be little websites that do, do things. And uh, so I can take a look at it. I don't need to see your code. I need to see what you get done. You know, maybe I would look at your code later, maybe not even. Um, so yeah, the benefit of a portfolio is that. It shows that you can take it from the beginning to the end and get it up there on the, on the website. You know, we want to see full stack. Uh, we want to see somebody who understands that you actually have to deploy. So that's the benefit. And the downside, of course, what I say is don't have a resume. You know, a resume is just a list of reasons for somebody to not hire you, believe it or not. People look at your resume and they go, ah, that's all they did, you know, because a resume can't describe your contribution. And some of you may not have a resume. You may never have had a job, but you can build your own projects, right? It doesn't matter if you've had been paid by a company for a couple of dollars a month, you can have a server and put your Ruby on Rails projects up there. And actually, if somebody came to me and people have come to me and said, could you hire me? And I said, well, what have you done? Well, I haven't done anything. I'm looking for a job. I'm sorry. You you can do something. And kind of a bonus tip, um, number three, is to find a sector. Now, for me, like I'm a SaaS person and, uh, you know, I like services. I'm not good at products, I'm good at services. I, or I have a services brain. So, you know, I'm something that's ongoing. So I understand, you know, uh, subscriptions and ongoing data analysis and lots of data. You know, when you have a product-based business, you're not dealing with a lot of data. And a lot of stuff I see on the, on the internet is about product-based stuff. So they're doing a website that maybe has a couple of pages and you sell something. Uh, that's not so first of all so difficult to make and so interesting you know if you're talking about having 10,000 subscribers and generating wax of data and doing that for a couple of years that's interesting that's my sector you know so find a sector kind of choose a horse and ride it you know uh, th those things having a presence having a portfolio having domain knowledge in a sector you're going to get a job, you know. Maybe you're not going to get a job with me. You're going to get a job with somebody because you'll find the right person and you will be a valued employee if you can demonstrate those things and therefore you will make more money. You know, uh, somebody commented on a YouTube video that they've been a Ruby on Rails developer for a couple of years and they are making very little money. I hate to be, you know, the bearer of bad news, but that's kind of your responsibility that you're not approaching the right people. It's tough. Look, you know, I hate to talk to people. Well, that's why I talk to a camera. But you have to talk to people and you have to build some kind of community. Anyway, this is a bit of a rambling video and you don't even want to know how long it took me to record it. But uh, I hope it helps you in some way. I feel your pain as a developer looking for work, I really do. And, uh, you know, every day is a struggle. And I'm sure you can get through it. And if you are this kind of person who has an online presence and has a portfolio and, uh, you know, has a sector, put a comment down below. You know, we can all take a look at your content. I'm welcoming you to put links to your blogs and YouTube channels as long as you're not selling you know I'm gonna delete any comments that are about selling but I'm going to promote comments that are about you <laughs>